What is that, CRM? I'm Master here, Tanner Short, and welcome to kind of an updatey video, I guess. But anyway, as you can tell, things are changing. Now, I spent like a couple weeks doing this. I don't have a lot done, but it's been a couple weeks. Um, so, what I might do is probably add this video to another video, or just upload this separately and. Just make things kind of less confusing, I guess. Yeah, but I just upload this separately. So you guys might have two videos today. Ooh. Depends on if I manage to edit fast enough. But anyway. Yeah. I decided to make a resource pack. Now, um. Admittedly, I don't really know how this, um, looks. I like it, but at the same time, I don't. Um, I wish I could probably make this a little bit more smoother. I plan to, um, change the background of this. But anyway. But, um, uh, yeah, it's, um. So far, what I got done, I am proud of myself. So, how about I just go to my non-Let's Play world, which I might later change to Resource Pack Showcase, or something like that, maybe Mod Showcase as well, maybe. But yeah, I decided, um, I did some of this in Survival Mode, like, I built this entire house in Survival Mode, but then I decided to say, screw it, everything else will be in Creative. I did the um, Farm in Survival Mode, I did this Bridge in Survival Mode, the Sugar Cane Farm in Survival Mode, the, whatchamacallit, the, Wheat farm in survival mode, but then that's pretty much it in survival mode. So, yeah, as you can tell, things are a lot more greener. Now, back in the day, if you guys ever played Minecraft Alpha, um, the grass and the trees, or at least the leaves anyway, were a lot more brighter green, a lot more saturated. And it just looked way better than what they did in um, beta. Now, don't get me wrong, I also like the whole realistic feel of Minecraft as well sometimes, but. Just staring at the same desaturated, boring looking grass, like, like I said, it's boring, it's not really, like, entertaining on the eyes. The eyes, like, the eyes love color. And if you have lack of color, then that just make things boring. So, the brighter the color, the more interesting it looks. But if you make things too bright, then it'll just hurt your eyes. But anyway, yeah. I love how the um, grass and leaves look now. I'm going to change the actual texture of them soon. But yeah, here's, I mean, just look how green it is. But that's not all that I changed. As you can tell, I also changed stuff on the hot bar. I made the um, inside the um, thing blue. And had the ring around it. Um, it used to be red, but it just didn't look really um, work right. I mean, it worked, but it just didn't really look good. Because it kind of like having red and everything else, like glow green and stuff, like, didn't really match. So I decided to change the, um, Item slider, whatever it is, to green. And it does look better. It does. Might change, like, the way it looks, though. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, um, if we go down to the Bat Cave, as I'm calling it, to the Halls of Armor, and we're going to take a look at the weapons soon. Here is the chainmail, the leather, the iron, the gold, and the diamond. And here are the swords. They start with the wooden sword. It's like a baseball bat or a club. The stone sword. It's like you took two pieces of stone. Or probably three pieces. Or yeah, two pieces. And kind of taped it together. The iron. is like a big broad sword with like a sapphire in the middle. The gold is like a katana with a ruby in the middle. And the diamond is like um, clouds. Um, What's it called? Like. Buster Sword or something. I haven't played Final Fantasy. I've seen some videos on it, but don't quiz me on it, basically. But yeah, based off of that, because I like how big the uh, and ridiculous that sword looked. So I kind of based off that, made a diamond, and I had like a purple gem to it. Now I'm not like a um, gemologist or whatever it's called. So I don't know anything about like gemstones and different types besides ruby, sapphire, emerald, but whatever. But yeah, here it is, and um, how about I just wear the armor with the respective sword and show you guys how it looks. Now the one thing I need to do is also change the um, texture of the item. I need to do that before I release this. I'm, I need to do a lot of things before I, re before I release this resource pack. But anyway, here's a chainmail armor. I kind of had like a leather layer to it, it's just having like plain chainmail kind of looked a little weird. So I added like a leather layer to it, make it look more uh, protective, I guess. I don't really like how big the helmet is. It kind of looks like a football helmet with a hairnet attached to it. 
Um, but yeah, I just ha added the uh, leather part of the helmet on like a different layer, kind of like the hat layer on his skin, and I added the uh, chainmail on the other side of the layer. I might do a video on me like actually doing the texture making and stuff. But anyway, yeah, here's what it looks. Here's the back of it. And um, yeah, I am proud of how all these armors turn out. It took me like weeks to do this. And I still need to do a lot of stuff before I release this pack. So anyway, I want to do the leather. So leather armor. I may look like a cow armor because you, make, you get leather from cows. Um, I don't really like how the snout, whatever the snout looks. Sorry, I'm coming down with a cold by the, cold, by the way. So yeah, I might sound a little bit weird in this video. But yeah. Here's the leather armor, cut the udders, cut the snout, cut the horns. And, um, it looks a little weird. You guys can also dye it too, like normal leather armor. But yeah, it looks, oops, it looks a little bit weird. But at the same time, I don't know, I, I kind of like it. And here's the iron armor. Now, I'm trying to make the um, swords match the respective armor as well. So, yeah, here it is with the iron sword. It looks freaking awesome. <laughs> And I tried to base this armor off like a knight's armor. Cause you got like the mouth part, the grill or whatever it is. The you got like the um elbow guards or whatever it is. Well not really elbow guards, but like help move your elbows, I guess. Um, even though Minecraft players don't have elbows. But it you know, it adds details. Um I tried to add like a chainmail looking layer, like underneath the actual armor part. And it doesn't look like the chainmail over there. Right there, but uh you know, it adds like more color to it, and yeah, it looks. I'm just surprised how well it looks, actually. Um, because I don't really um, do texture art or whatever, um, pixel art. But yeah, I'm just surprised at how good it looks, how shiny the sapphire looks, and everything. So yeah, also make the blade a little bit thicker. And um, yeah, that's the iron armor. And here's the gold armor. Make it look more like royalty, like a king would it wear. Um, it's not very um, protective. It's hard to see with uh, my character because my skin already has like purple and gold on it anyway. But yeah, it's kind of made like a little bit, you know, royalty. I got rubies in it. I got like purple belt in it, the gold armor bits. And gold is not really much of a protective armor anyway. It like durability sucks, so I guess it makes sense for having it like. Not as protective, I guess. And also added like a cape to it. So yeah, that's the gold armor. With its sword. And um, yeah, I really like how this turned out too. And actually, this was the first thing I retextured in this pack. The very first thing. So the more you know. And last but not least, here's the diamond armor with the diamond sword. Like I said, I tried to make these swords match the respective armor. So I added the purple gemstone in this as well. I just love how good this looks, like, the massive sword, the, like, layers on this, like, it just looks so awesome, and kind of fantasy-like, too, with the wings on the back of the helmet, it's kind of hard to see on a character, I'm trying to make you guys see it, but, um, I guess I could just go to the armor stand, but yeah, here's what it looks like on the character, there's the back of it, and, um, here's what it looks like on the armor stand, you see what I mean about the wings on the side, got that part on the top of, like, Bending over to like over the head, the gems on it. I might um change the gemstone to uh, where it looks more shinier, like the swords. I just realized the yeah, wooden sword kind of looks like a corn dog. <laughs> oh well, but um yeah, that's the diamond armor with the sword. And um, have I got? I'll just show you guys um what else I've done. Um, trying to remember what all I've done. So I changed the lava texture and the water texture. So anyway, here's the lava texture. Here's like the normal standing lava. It got like lava rocks on it. Here's a uh, lava flow. It got like no lava rocks on it because I wanted to like do a separation between the two. I don't really know how I like it. I might add some lava rocks on the on that one too. I just broke something, but anyway. Yeah, but yeah, I might add some lava rocks on that one too. See how it looks. Uh, maybe less lava rocks. And by the way, take a shot every time I say lava rocks. Don't do it, you'll die instantly. But anyway, yeah, here's the lava. I do like the way it looks. Looks more realistic with the rocks on top of it. Looks like it's sinking into it a little bit, you know, bobbing up and down in the lava. And uh, what else have I done? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, it's water. Uh, water, 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 water. Uh, water, here it is. 
I made the water a bit more brighter, better looking. So yeah, here's a um, well that's the running water. Let me just grab a stone block. And here's standing water. And here's the inside of the water. Looks much more easier to see and you know a little bit more I wanna say tropical looking for how um turquoisey it looks. And yeah, it looks really good. Again, I surprised myself with this unpack. Anyway, um next up, which is the final thing that I retextured for right now. Uh is the Enderman. The Enderman. Again, sorry, I have a slight cold. So uh yeah. Here he is. Oh yeah, I just remembered. Uh, Ender Pearl. Here it is. And the Eye of Ender. There it is. Let's just get rid of this stuff. But yeah, here's the Enderman. Now, I was thinking like, when you kill an Enderman, you get the Ender Pearl. But how? Where is the? Where does the Ender Pearl come from? So I decided to take the Ender Pearl texture. And basically copy and paste it on the Enderman's chest. Now at first, the normal Ender Pearl, it just didn't really look right compared to the Enderman. So what I decided to do was retouch the Pearl to purple because it makes more sense because the Enderman is like black and purple. But when I did that, I was thinking, the eyes of Ender are green. I mean, Enderman, their eyes were supposed to be green to begin with, but they changed it to purple. But they then changed this, and it just doesn't really look right with the um, purple eye but green eyes of Ender. So I had added a, a little purple tint to it. Got a little bit blue in there. Got the uh, pupil. And um, yeah, I like the way it looks too. And yeah, that's the Enderman. Also gave him a little bit purplish look to him. And also if I just go into uh, slash game mode. If I can spell it. Game mode space S. Okay, well, um, just let me do something real quickly, uh, okay, so anyway, anyway, what I was about to do is stare in the eyes, oh, if you guys can see, I also changed the mouth to, like, make it look more gooey, I guess, this is probably a bad idea, um, uh, hold up, there we go, okay, so, uh, let me just redo that, but anyway, what I was about to show you guys, and of course he teleports. Was about to show you guys. I made the mouth a little bit more gooey. Hello. But yeah, oh, really? Oh crap! That scared the living crap out of me. Okay. But um, yeah. If you guys can take a good look at the mouth, uh, let me just anger this guy. He teleported away. Of course. Oh, hello. But yeah, I just made the mouth different as well, just like slight, slightly different. Make the teeth look like they're connected, like strings of goop. Let me just go to. Game mode C, there we go. But yeah, I try to make the uh, teeth look like they're um, connected like strings of goop, like I said earlier. Just then, so you guys can hear me because the noise is of the internet. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it that I can remember. Now let's grab this. Um, what else have I done? I'm trying to remember. Uh, let's see, Enderman. I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, my goal for this resource pack, um, I want to keep the retro pixelated look that Minecraft has. But, you know, like, updating it with my own stuff, my own takes on how the armors are, because if you play um, with a normal re the default resource pack, all the armors look the same, just different colors. All the swords look the same, but different colors. Well, hello. But, um, yeah, just, I wanted to, like, just change things, just change how everything looks to make it more original, more separated. So, yeah, we got two elements in here. Let me just change the difficulty. Where would that be? Uh, peaceful. Uh, peaceful. There we go. So, yeah, I just wanted to, like, make things look more individualized or something. Um, I also have plans to, like, get Optifine, Optifine, like, in this as well. Like, change, like, have a custom sky in it and, um, have, like, different textures of the same, like, Enderman, like, I have some Endermans with purple eyes, some Endermans with green eyes, etc, etc. Had different zombies, like a decapitated zombie, a zombie that's missing its brain, or missing part of its face so he can have an exposed brain, and maybe some cosplayer zombies as well. I've been thinking about that. Having like a zombie dressed up like Batman or something. I don't know, that's been... I've been thinking about that, and um, 
I don't know how well that will look. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for this. Um, I don't know how short this video is going to be. Um, again, sorry the way I sound right now. I'm all blocked up. But anyway, guys, as always, like, comment, subscribe, favorite if you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't, uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Ring and leave that square bell so you can be notified for future uploads. As always, Sheriff signing out. See ya!